no matter which push button, push button switches I press on the output, this LED must turn on. As you see, the circuit board, I connect one of these inputs to high, it means to our uh, positive rail of the breadboard. I have to get a low on the output. Let's see. It's four square. First of all, I will connect my two BC547 transistors to the breadboard. Then I'm going to connect the both emitters of the transistors to the ground. Here is my the other resistor too. The emitter goes to the negative rail of the breadboard. Now let's connect the 2.2 kilo ohm resistors to the bases of these two resistors. So one of the resistors goes to the base of the second transistor and the other lead goes to the blank spot on breadboard. I'm gonna do the same for the first transistor, connect my resistor to the base and the other side goes to a blank spot. Here is my 100 kilo ohm resistor, I will connect it to the base of the transistor and to ground. I will do the same for the first transistor, resistor goes to the base and to the ground. I will connect my 100 ohm resistor to the collector of the second transistor and the other side goes to the positive rail of the breadboard. Next for the output I'm going to use uh, one LED and uh, current limiting resistor. So first of all I have to extend my collector. I will use a jumper wire and I'm going to connect the 2.2 kilo ohm resistor to limit the current flowing through the LED. And in series to our resistor will be a red LED connected. So the anode goes to the resistor and the cathode to the negative rail of the breadboard. For the input, I'm going to use two jumper wires. with blue color and I will connect it to the other side of our 2.2K resistor. These two jumper wires play an important role in our circuit. They decide if the circuit is zero, if the input is going to be zero or one, since they are connected to the input of the circuit. And finally, I'm going to connect the collectors of the transistors together in NOR gate we are basically connecting two inverters in parallel so because of that I'm, I'm using a jumper wire to connect the collectors so that we can get a parallel circuit from them now we are done I'm gonna power the circuit 5 volts coming in through the circuit and let's test it in NOR logic gate we get one when the both inputs are zero it means that if i connect the both of these jumper wires to the ground or zero i will get a high on the output let's try it so the first input which is input from the first transistor goes to the ground and the second input from the second transistor as well it goes to the ground as you see we get a one or five volts on the output now, when I connect one of these inputs to high, it means to our uh, positive rail of the breadboard, I have to get a low on the output. Let's see. It works perfectly. I'm going to do it by the other transistor. I will connect the other transistor to positive rail and see. I will get a low on the output. So what happens? If the both inputs are high, let's connect the, I will disconnect it. I'm going to connect the jumper wires to positive rail of the breadboard. High, we get a one on the input and on the output, we have to get a seal zero. Let's see. 
So we have built our uh, Nord logic gate circuit on breadboard. Everything works perfectly. It's what we've been expecting from the true table and from the circuit. Everything matches. Let's make the experiment a little bit interesting. I'm gonna build an OR gate from this NOR gate on this uh, on the exact on the same breadboard. I'm gonna use this part of the breadboard to build this circuit. So in order to convert the NOR gate to OR gate, we need an inverter, inverter logic gate. I have uploaded a video on inverter logic gate. You can uh, watch the video to get a better understanding. So let's bring the jumper wire a little bit over here so that we can have enough space. The other components too. NOR gate actually consists of two inverters which are connected in parallel to each other. If we want to make a NAND gate, we have to connect the collectors of transistor in series to each other. So I'm gonna build the inverter on the right side of the breadboard and we connect it to the NOR gate so that we can get an OR gate at the end. Let's do it. Let's place another transistor on breadboard and connect the emitter to the ground. Then I'm going to use 2.2K resistor to connect it to the base of the transistor. Perfect. Now, here is my 100 kilo ohm resistor. I will connect it to the base of the transistor and to the ground. I'm going to use a 100 ohm resistor and I will connect it to the collector of the transistor and to the positive rail of the breadboard. For the output, I'm going to use a load green LED so we need a current limiting resistor I'm going to use my 2.2k resistor I will connect it to the collector of the transistor and the LED will be connected in series to the resistor the anode goes to the resistor and the cathode to the negative rail of the breadboard so right now I have to connect the NOR gate in series to our inverter so that at the end we get an OR logic gate circuit how I'm going to do it, I will connect the jumper wire, one of them goes to the output of the NOR gate and the other one to the input of the inverter circuit. And let's, let's use some push button switches for the input instead of these jumper wires. So here is my push button switches. I'm going to use it for the inputs of our NOR gate. So this one right goes right over the resistor and to the positive rail and the other one two. Perfect. Now the circuit looks better. So let's power the circuit. I have five volts coming in to the circuit and Let's see how the OR gate functions. So we get one from the, we get one on the output when either one of the inputs are one. So let's try it. No matter which push button, push button switches I press on the output, this LED must turn on. As you see, the circuit works and if I press both of the push button switches together, I have to still get a 1 on the output. The only moment the output is going to be 0 is that my inputs, both of them, are going to be 0. So as you see, my push button switches are open. I have zeros on the input, so at the output, I'm getting 0 too. We did a NOR gate, OR gate, and we also built an inverter logic gate. We did three most important logic gates in digital electronics. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like the video if you, if you found this video interesting and subscribe my YouTube channel.
Thanks and have a good day.